Hey, it's Don, the art professor. We're going to do the last one of this group here, the last ornament. If you haven't seen the last two videos, I show you how to get all the little pieces to put this together. I also have a download for the artwork. This is, again, an original 1870s die cut from the Victorian era. These were handmade, everything else is as well. So this is what we're going to do today. Next one's going to be how to make a full-fledged spun cotton and felt Santa Claus. And I'll include as well in that one the artwork so you can have the original Santa Claus artwork for the face. It's a standard spun cotton ornament that you'll see across the board. It's a copy of an original one we'll be doing. But for right now, we're going to head over there now and show you how to do this ornament here. Okay, for this next one, we're going to use one of the angels I already have from the prior video. And the same basic disc. Now this disc is the same one that we use on this right here. I just didn't put the lines in it for the embossed look to it so anyway that's what we're using with this one and we're just going to go ahead and right now glue these on from the start because we don't need to worry about this part of it at all after this so glue it where you want it where you want the halo to be we're going to put it right about there again this is an original 1870s angel this is not a reproduction this is the real deal um, you have copies of this exact same one. Now we're going to take some other things. We're going to use some of this, which is uh, roving. It's basically like wool, almost like um, flannel or a felt pad, I guess would be more along the lines uh, of what it would be. It's the same basic principle as spun cotton. This is just easier to find. You have to order spun cotton offline. It's fairly reasonable. These were less than that price. I think it was 40% off. So we're just going to pull some of that and use some of that in a minute here. I'm also going to use one of these same doilies that I've painted in the prior video. So go ahead back and watch the other video if you haven't seen that one. I've then cut a piece of just smaller cardstock. The same stock I used when I painted for these circles. This again is just another circle like you saw in the other video. I went ahead and sprayed sheets of this and cut circles out and things like that. Again, watch the other video. Now we're just going to put this together here. This one's a very basic one, but it looks very unique um, when it's done. So we're just going to take this. This is just to add some weight and thickness to this piece here. You're not going to see this because we're going to go ahead after this. Now probably some of the paints come off just a little bit, but that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to do this over that. Again, we're just beefing it up for some more uh, thickness and weight. It's got to have some weight to it to be able to handle the uh, extra weight of the cotton that we're going to be putting on here, the woving, the wool. So let's go ahead and do it this way. Okay, I know this is similar to the other one, but a lot of the designs can be done similarly. Now this is going to be floating off the top and there's going to be white fuzz around sticking out the outsides of it like that, which is something they did back then as well. Now we're going to make a couple of accordions and these are going to hold this up. So they'll be actually supported and it'll be pretty springy. That's a little hard to get them to stick into place when they're not uh, glued, but they spring very well. Now all these are is basically the exact same thing I did with this. And again, watch the other video to see that. It's just a strip of this same cardstock I've used for everything else. Just a tiny strip. Doesn't matter the, the width. I just happen to cut it the same width. And you fold it back and forth. Same basic principle with anything else I've done. Now it just depends on how much you want it to move. So we're going to do one more. I think I've got just too much spring with the other one. And we're going to cut it off. And then this is going to be what holds it up. So that's all there is to it. Now I think these are two. Let's see which ones, if they're the same height or not. I think one of them is a little too high. So let's just stack these up and see how I did. Yeah, they're pretty darn close. So I need to shorten this a little bit. Let's cut one of these off here. We only want it to be so far off the top. We don't want it sticking way, way up. You can see the difference on these. I know it may not look like much, but there's a height difference. So we're going to chop off one of these other ones. We want these to be the same height. 
So they're going to sit on the back like that. So we're going to glue these on to the back of this. You're not going to see them. The wooling will cover up the view of these. We're just going to stick them on there. In fact, let's stick this one like this. So we're on both parts of this. In fact, maybe I better... Okay, so we got that. So let's go ahead and stick a little glue on there and a little glue on there. Okay, now here's the hard part. You gotta be able to line this up okay to where you want it. We want this pretty much right in the center. Okay, so there we go. You can move it a little bit if you need to. But now the, the point is it's springy. It's literally off the surface of the card. Now I've made some pop-up books and some pop-up Christmas cards and things like one-offs for people for Christmas. And you know, so this is just a basic, um, I guess you'd call it elevator for the paper. Um, I don't really want the glue sticking under the side. We can get rid of that. There we go. Okay. So there you can go. Yeah, we still got a little piece of it right there. There we go. Okay, so that's the image. That's what we want to happen here. And then from here, we're just going to be gluing in wads of this. And I got some tinsel stuck in there, it looks like. So you'll just stick this underneath and around it, just like that. And it'll give it a wispy kind of look to it. So this is just another uniqueness one here. Now we're going to have to glue some string on the back too. So I'm going to use another one of these same discs, same size. And we're going to stick it up there on the top. But we need to get some string. Now the same string, this is the same household string that I used in the last one. And we're just going to cut off a piece and see where we want it. That looks pretty decent, just like that. I always, again, twist it up a little bit there. Now we're gonna glue it to the back first, just to make it easy on us. Again, twist it up a little bit there. Just smear it around and then I'm going to come back in and we're going to put this down. And all we got to do is get to the top without burning ourselves, of course. Just going to line it up. There we go. string in there good this shouldn't hurt anything so there it goes that's all it is to it that covers up everything the string is pretty much dead center on there yeah that's pretty close that's good enough there you go so now all we got to do is glue some of this in there just like that so all there is to it Just glue file this around. Some more tinsel in there. There we go. I'll kind of build a little fluffy cloud around the angel. Let's put some on the other side just so we can balance it out. That's usually what I do. Okay, we're gonna go all the way around.
get another wad on the bottom here. You can mix and match anything you want, just like any of the other designs. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just a matter of pushing in some wool. And we're almost done. We just need to get the top. A big enough piece now. We need just a little bit more. And then all we gotta do is get some glue on there. that is it now if you want to shape it you can cut some off make it a little puffier so then you can just sculpt it a little bit Okay, and then we're going to put some stars on here too. Just a little bit of star. That's all there is to it. I'm just putting just enough to hold them into place. Again, if you want to know where the stars came from, I punched them out in the other video. So just watch back to the other video. So it just adds just one little touch to it. And that's about it. Angel looking on on a starry night. So, and again, there's the back side. As long as you're cutting them correctly and round and such forth, it's going to look like a professionally done nice example of it. Again, the center is original. This is just another fine example of a homemade piece that you would have seen in the Victorian era. Let me show you one more thing too. Now I've got this punch here and what this does, it'll punch out tags. So you can punch out the tags main shape and then just come back in and pop this out. So if you want to do a private personal tag, the same thread that I showed you can be used for that. So you can print out, you can even get a stamper and stamp your own prices or your name or anything else you want onto any of the ornaments that I'm showing you. So it's just something you can do. Uh, just thought I'd show you this because if you're gonna sell these locally, this way you can have a custom tag as well. This is basically the same thing you're going to buy, but for like a couple of bucks, you can get one of these stampers, and it literally works very well. In fact, let's just shoot one out here just to show you. And literally, that's it. There's one there, and then you just come back in here with a hole punch, and blah. There you go. That's all there is to it. So I just thought I'd show you that. So if you want custom tags to go with it, you are all set also. And glitter too, as I said, if you want to add glitter to anything, use crystal glitter. It looks more realistic to what mica was. It's like broken glass or something, I guess. I don't know, something like that. But it's real fine. It literally glistens everywhere, these. Now, I'm not sure what brand would be the best, but crystal glitter is the one that I always try and find. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts on this. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.